Hey up everybody. Okay, then I'm moving on to part part three of my pipe work. In my last part, I think I mentioned at the end that, that, that I were going to go on to the blower pipe work. Well, I'll be doing that in my next video now. I've got to do another couple of other jobs first while I've got the cab off. It just makes it more easier. So it's the water gauges to do with the water gauges and the blowdown valve. Now in Jack Buckler's book, which I'm working to, I've not got no drawings, I've not got the drawings, I'm just working from the book. There's no actual drawing for the water gauges and the blowdown valve. It mentions them, but it doesn't actually, well it doesn't in my edition of the book anyway. But I've managed to find these off the, uh, out the model engineer, which featured uh, this sweet pea book in it at some time, I don't know when. You'll find that in model engineer index if you just take a look on internet and put in sweet pea I suppose. So these are the drawings then for the water gauge and the blowdown valve. Now in a previous video I made the water gauges so you can see that in my playlist under boiler fittings I think where I made the complete water gauge but in this part I'm just I'm just dealing with the pipe the pipe work that where you can uh, blow your, your gauge glass out so let's deal with that then now shall we uh, so all I've done I've got one eighth pipe I've made a nipple with a I've made a nipple for the end silver soldered on and I've made a union nut just to screw it onto that thread at the bottom of the water gauge um, that, that's that got to be shaped round the boiler now just to make it look pleasing to eye so it comes in between frames and takes the steam away from the loco so we'll deal with that when I go on to the loco and then the blowdown valve so if you're making the sweet pea or the meter made with just the just the standard wheels on and not putting a truck on back, you just make it to that drawing. And the only difference is, oh, you can see I, I made this blowdown valve in in same uh, playlist under boiler fittings. If you want to take a look at that. So all I've done now, then I've modified this instead of bringing the pipe down. If you bring it down, it washes all the oil and the grease off the pony truck, which ain't good. It mentions that in uh, in Sweet Pea book. So what you have to do then, let's assume this is underneath the boiler now. Instead of the pipe coming straight down, it wants modifying to come out to the left as you as you as you're looking forward to the left of the loco to bring a pipe to bring it away from the trailing pony truck and all I've done I've made a a, a small union silver soldered it into the blowdown valve made a union nut with a nipple to solder onto some pipe and then I'm going to screw my pipe on and bring it away from the trailing truck now you've got to do it that way because if you put the pipe solder the pipe on if you ever need to take this off you'll not be able to take it off without taking the boiler off the loco because you'll not be able to unscrew it so that's why it's made detachable and then the other modification I've done instead of this screw to shut the valve off with a square on the end I weren't really happy with that 3 sixteenths square, especially on brass, because when, you, when you're constantly tightening it and undoing it to, to blow down, I, I think that might, you know, not be, not be suitable. It probably is suitable, I'm just being pedantic, I think. So I've made one with a hexagon head to put a proper spanner on. So I'll be using that one. So I'll move over to Loco then and we'll have a look at, you know, putting these on.
Right, let's deal with this water gauge first. And it's just a matter of shaping that pipe once it's been annealed round the boiler and down towards the trailing pony truck. Right, so it just goes in between frames there, look. And then it's going to go down towards the trailing truck. And then it's going to come out. I've just got to cut a little bit off up to where I've put that marker on. That mark that line so that it clears it clears everything under underneath loco, all these uh components on the truck. I've screwed the blowdown valve into the boiler now and I'm ready for attaching the pipe. So I've made this pipe off camera and I'm using 3 sixteenths and I've just bent it to the shape soldered an olive on got the union nut on and what I'm aiming to do there's a there's a little hole in my stretcher there where I've took the corners off I'm aiming to come from the blow, blow down valve across the bike and down through that hole to come underneath the loco somewhere here little bit fiddly that bit of a tight space in there but managed to get the union nut on here's the pipe and I've just managed to get through this hole in the corner of the stretcher and then it just comes out here yeah, like buffer beam I think I'll go on to the blower next, so I'll do that in next video. So thanks for watching, bye for now.